Hello, welcome back to 5-Minute Science, where we take a topic, dissect it, try to learn about it in five minutes or less. So today we're going to talk about what is an orbit, how do orbits work, and why do astronauts or people float when they're in spacecraft, right? So the number one misconception when it comes to floating in a spacecraft or orbits of planets or a spacecraft is people think that when they're far away from the planet, gravity goes away. We even call it zero gravity. That's a complete myth, all right? So the first thing we need to do to understand this is we need to talk a little bit about gravity. So in general, here we have the big old planet Earth, we'll call that E, right? And just to talk about something, we'll talk about the moon, which is, we all know, orbiting the Earth. Now, in order to understand this a little bit more, let's talk about the Earth as if it were a single point. So we can concentrate the mass of the Earth into a single point, we call it E, and we concentrate the mass of the moon to a single point, we call it M, because we can treat these planets as if their masses are concentrated uh, at a single point. Now, why am I doing that? Because I want to define the distance between the Earth and the Moon. We're going to call it R. All right? Now, what I want to point out to you is that the law of gravitation, right, the force between any two objects, right, is equal to the gravitational constant, which is just a number, times the mass of body number one, like the Earth, times the mass of body two, like the Moon, and all of that stuff is divided by the distance between them, but squared right, the distance between them. So you can see that if the Earth has mass, that would be like M1, and if the Moon or a spacecraft has mass, these are both numbers. G is just a number. I could tell you what the number is, but it's just a, a number multiplied by this stuff. Um, then no matter how far away I put these objects, this radius or this, this distance is still going to be a number we're dividing by it. So the force between any two bodies in the solar system is always positive. There's always a gravitational force. So it's a complete myth to say that we go into space and we have zero gravity. So if there is gravity acting on a spacecraft, then how does it go around the planet and why are we floating? Because it certainly looks like there's no gravity up there. So in order to tackle that, I need to do a thought experiment with you, right? It's a very famous thought experiment. Einstein actually talked about this and many other people as well. Let's say you're staying on the ground and here you are here. And uh, you know, we'll put a little smiley face on you. There you go. And what you're gonna do is you're going to throw some rocks. So here is a rock here you're holding and you launch it horizontally with some speed V. What is gonna happen to this rock? Well, it's gonna go horizontally for a while, then the gravity is gonna pull it, it's gonna hit the ground. And it'll hit the ground, let's call it right there. Now what if uh, instead I just throw the rock harder or faster. So the arrow I'm going to put on the rock is now going to be even longer. We're going to call it a different V, okay? What's going to happen to this one is it's going to go horizontal and it's going to go farther, but it's still going to hit the ground only farther away, right? So just by throwing it faster with more velocity, I can delay the impact. Now let's take this thing to its extreme. Here we now have the, the planet Earth and there's a very tall mountain, right? And now I'm actually gonna stand on the top of the mountain. There's my smiley face. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of throwing rocks, I'm gonna uh, fire bullets horizontally uh, from more powerful guns, right? So here it is. And the first one is gonna go very far, but eventually, you know, the earth is going to pull it down. It's gonna impact right here. If I throw it harder or faster, it's going to go a little bit farther around the planet, but eventually still impact. If I throw it even harder, you see what's gonna happen. It goes almost all the way around the planet, but still impacts. Now let's change colors. If I throw it at the magical speed, which we actually call the orbital speed, then what ends up happening is it doesn't quite hit the ground. It just comes back to where it starts. This is called an orbit. So you can see what's going on is the gravity is still pulling the thing down the whole time, but you have to throw it fast enough, hard enough, fast enough for gravity to curve it down, but it's going so fast that it actually goes all the way around, right? Now for a spacecraft in low Earth orbit like the International Space Station, uh, this speed turns out to be 4.76 miles per second, or if you like kilometers, 7.66 
kilometers per second. That means you have to be traveling this fast to curve all the way around the Earth. Now, why do we float? We float for the same reason in an elevator. When I drop in an elevator and I'm falling, then I'm falling at the same speed as the elevator. So inside of my spaceship, which is going around the Earth falling, I am inside falling as well. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to, it's going to appear as I have no gravity because I'm falling at the same rate as the elevator. So that is why orbits of the planets work the way they do. That is why we appear to float, but it is not zero gravity.